Did you know that SpongeBob has appeared in other cartoons? Yeah, this yellow dude here has appeared in so many other cartoons making cameos and also in the form of parody. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about a bunch, so let's do it. Real quick though, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as I respond to the comments of all subscribers. So it's that simple. If you click subscribe right now and leave a comment, me, Cartoon Cory, I will respond for sure in the next 24 hours. For now though, let's talk about these cameos and parodies of SpongeBob in other cartoons. My parents taught me never to talk to strange lockers. But I'm an experimental computerized interactive locker. Don't you want to know how I work? Well, I... <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Neutron. Uh, my dog ate it! I was just holding them for somebody! Shane made me do it! You're not in trouble, Mr. Neutron. Oh! Forget everything I just said. Let's kick things off with another Nickelodeon show. SpongeBob is produced by Nickelodeon, and they back in the day had a ton of other Nicktoons. One of those being Jimmy Neutron. I love this show. This show is iconic. You know, I'm actually surprised that they haven't done some sort of like Jimmy Neutron reboot at this point. They rebooted Rugrats, so like why not Jimmy Neutron? But anyways, there is a really cool reference to SpongeBob in the Jimmy Neutron episode, Operation Rescue Jet Fusion. Take a look Look at this and let's see if you guys can spot it. Agent Sheen, Agent Carl, let's find ourselves a missing spy. Neutronic air gum. Just chew it and you can breathe underwater. Wow, what can't Jimmy invent? There's the tracking device. So as a spy guy. Did you guys catch it? Well, as you know, SpongeBob lives in an iconic pineapple home. All right, right here, it's iconic. Would you guys live in a pineapple? I'm curious, let me know in the comments. But yeah, he lives in this house. And if we pay close attention during this scene of Rescue Jet Fusion, why is there a random pineapple under the sea? Yeah, this is definitely a reference to SpongeBob. Pineapples don't actually just grow under sea. And I don't think it's a coincidence that this show is also made by Nickelodeon. So yeah, this one's really Really cool. I love Jimmy Neutron, and it's awesome to see two Nickelodeon shows reference each other. And guys, that's not it. Let's head over to another show. It's gonna shock you that this show has a reference to SpongeBob in it. Well, we could live with a stopped up drain. I don't think all that moisture is gonna do wonders for your drywall, and it ain't in such great shape as it is. Oh! was hiding behind the drywall. Yes, you were. Next up is The Simpsons. Yeah, guys, believe it or not, The Simpsons has so many references to SpongeBob. Like, SpongeBob will just blatantly appear in the cartoon. It's usually more parody than a cameo or reference. Like, I don't know how much Nickelodeon likes it. I don't think Nickelodeon's allowing it to happen, but it's still really cool and really funny. Here's the first reference. Now I'll admit that first one was pretty light, okay? As you guys seen, it's pretty simple. Bart always has that gag where he writes on the chalkboard. It's always something funny during the opening, the Simpsons intro opening song. And as you can see right here, this time it's a SpongeBob reference, which is really cool. This one's subtle, like I said, but some of the other Simpsons references to SpongeBob are wild, just like this one. Take a look at this from the episode, The Way of the Dog. Darling, I've done something impulsive. You know her mother always wanted you to wear her ring, but she died at a time when we had no hope. Oh, Clay, I can't marry you now. I can meet you in Tuscany in a few weeks. I might not be there. I can't compete with a wagging tail. Good, let's get back to work. <laughs> Today, I want you to interact with the pack. Mingle. Sniff a butt you don't know. This is the type of cameo or reference where I'm asking myself if Nickelodeon's cool with it. You know Nickelodeon does not like this because look, it's blatantly like an orange SpongeBob lookalike plush. Like you know that that is SpongeBob and I don't know how The Simpsons has not gotten sued by Nickelodeon, but hey, I'm all for it. I love references like this. They're awesome. And there's another one in this episode, The Ways We Hear. Take a look at this. Um, no. Identify all traffic lights. Done. Identify all yield sign. Done. 
Lisa, help me. Done. Identify all fire hydrants. Done. Jesuits. Done. 20th century dictators. Uh, overrated fiction. Uh, Hyper intelligent cartoon characters. Vegan nut milks. Future criminals. Now, I really like this one because as you can see, it's like a CAPTCHA screen. You know what I mean? Like it's not, it's not like Patrick's just in the background. It's like he's a part of this CAPTCHA screen, which is just, it cracks me up. And it makes it even more funny that this Waze website is like a parody of Google's Waze. So just super cool references. And The Simpsons isn't the only show with really cool references or parodies regarding SpongeBob. So let's head over to another cartoon. This one's also going to shock you a little bit. Dad, don't be mad. I I heard you tell mom you didn't know where grandpa was, so I used the internet to find him. I also found a recipe for pumpkin flan that will melt in your mouth. I'll melt in your mouth. So, your wicked ways caught up with you. Yes, and now those wicked ways are gonna grab me from behind, shove me to the floor, and break in my rump like a new baseball glove. Right in front of the kid, that's nice. This is a chance for you two to reconnect. Let's bail him out. Up next is American Dad. Like I said, this is an adult cartoon, so I'm kind of shocked that SpongeBob would be referenced in it. Then again, though, it's kind of funny that they're referencing a kid's cartoon. I think that's the whole point. American Dad's much better than Family Guy, in my opinion. And the first one can be found in the episode Jack's Back. Take a look at this. Looks like they're going camping. Yeah, I know. So, sometimes I like to know what else is happening. I'm looking for a Roger Smith. What can I do for you, Ms... Mathers, is it? You've been exposing an intern named Haley Smith to unsafe working conditions. Henceforth, Miss Smith's duty shall be limited to watching TV and web surfing. I already have a boy for that. He watches Nickelodeon all day. He's seven. And not real. Game on, bitch. Hey! You said a swear. You, wait, you're real? Yeah, this one cracked me up. So you can see Roger come in and walk in on this kid who's watching a SpongeBob parody show. So yeah, I mean, I was that kid when I was growing up watching SpongeBob on the TV. It's a good show and a really cool reference here from American Dad. And here's another one from another American Dad episode, Toy Story. I'm not gonna say what it's actually called. It's inappropriate. We're just gonna call it Toy Story. Here's the reference. Steve won't stop playing with toys. Oh, you're bugging, huh? Yeah, but not for long. Because tonight when Steve's asleep, I'm gonna go in and get rid of all his toys. Nice. Evening, Robbie. Any intelligence to report? Tonight when Steve's asleep, I'm gonna go in and get rid of all his toys. Oh, dear Lord. I knew this day would come. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? Tonight, we fight for our lives! <laughs> Dude, you know that Fox had a lawsuit on their hand for this one scene. Look at how many copywritten characters are on screen. We've got Transformers over here. We've got Thomas the Tank Engine right here. But more importantly, we've got this banana version of SpongeBob right here, which is hilarious. And also, if you look, I'm pretty sure he's missing an arm. Just saying. Like, let's zoom in. Yeah, SpongeBob is missing an arm. Yeah, really funny parody from American Dad, a banana version of SpongeBob, which I think is also a thing in the Cleveland show. Take a look at this. I can't believe I missed stool fest because of my stupid mom. Ha! You're whipped by your mom. Whoosh. <laughs> We've talked about this before, but I realized it made an appearance in an episode we haven't talked about, Buried Pleasure, where Cleveland wins a Banana Bob plush doll at the carnival right here. They really love SpongeBob over at Fox, man. But yeah, let's head over to another cartoon with more SpongeBob cameos. This next one will be more of a cameo and less of a parody, so yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about this, Captain. What? You saw how they stopped fighting when the glass cracked. That was just a crack. Imagine what'll happen when we put a hole the size of Manhattan in that baby. A, a global devastation? Bingo. Kind of tough to have a war when that's going down, huh? There are a lot of SpongeBob references in adult cartoons. This next one's from more of a kid's cartoon, that being Duck Dodgers. Roll the footage, take a look at this. Octo Smith! Octo Smith! King 
Great White, this isn't some rock concert. It's a formal celebration of our planet's peace. And you're making a mockery of it, you! Sea sponge! Huh? <gasps> King demand apology! Uh, King not get one. <laughs> Yeah, so Disney isn't nearly as brave as Fox is, as this one's a little more subtle, but you can also tell it's a reference to SpongeBob, as in the episode, The Fins of War. There's this busboy character who bears a striking resemblance to SpongeBob. I mean, come on, that is 100% SpongeBob. And it's important to mention that they go like undersea in this episode, so you can tell that it's meant to be a reference to SpongeBob. And this one's a little more classy, like I actually really like the design right here, it's really cool. Not as cool as this other reference from this next cartoon though stay tuned Alan! Alan! it's time it's time it's time for what triangle bob triangle pants triangle bob triangle pants my what? favorite tv show alan it's on triangleodeon all right, so let's make this next one quick since it's more of a live action reference. I prefer covering like cartoon ones, but this one's still cool and it's from the iconic show Sesame Street. Definitely gonna crack you guys up a little bit. Roll that footage, let's go. Next on Triangle Odeon, it's Triangle Bob, Triangle Pants. Yes! Are you ready, kids? Yes! Yes, Triangle Bob! Yes! Who lives in a triangle counting to three? Triangle Bob! Yeah, so let me introduce you guys to Triangle Bob Triangle Pants, a very clear spoof of Nickelodeon's character, SpongeBob. It appeared in episode 4079. I had no idea there were that many episodes from season 35. And yeah, not much else to say about this one, but I want that outfit, man. That dude's dripping. I want that Triangle Bob dress. But let's keep it moving to another cartoon. What is with you and all these crazy rules? Why are you picking on me? I don't see anybody else following all this harebrained madness. Oh, no. One show I loved back in the day was Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I feel like this show was very underrated. Say something in the comments if you remember it and you watched it back in the day. It's a good show, and I'm not surprised that it has a cool reference to not only SpongeBob, but also our favorite pink starfish, Patrick Star. Take a look at this grapple gang. I really like this one. You will go straight to my office and discover the true meaning of punishment. <laughs> Put those water balloons down right now! <laughs> This one isn't super direct, but I mean, come on. Look at these like slimy, goopy versions of a real sponge in this pile of whatever that's supposed to be Patrick. That is totally SpongeBob and Patrick. It just isn't as blatant as the others, and I kind of respect that. This one seems like more of a nod to SpongeBob, a respectful nod, and less of like a parody. All I know for sure is I'm probably going to go and watch an episode of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends after this, because I forgot about that show, and while this reference is awesome. I love that show. Before that, though, we've got more references. Let's keep it moving. Have a seat. Hmm, crazy cool. Crazy cool. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, just relax. Uncle Grandpa, my scalp is tingling. Yeah, that means it's working. But it still looks exactly like... <sighs> Whoa, cool, Uncle Grandpa. My friend, thanks to this crazy cool hair. So here's the thing. I have never actually even heard of this show until making this video. The show's called Uncle Grandpa, but it does seem to be somewhat of a popular show. What really caught my eye though, was this really blatant and probably one of the coolest references I've seen to SpongeBob in a while. You guys gotta see it for yourself, look. Why don't you think about what your life's gonna be like with no friends at all? Okay, here goes nothing. Hey, what's happening? Oh no, I hate Ripple Dissolves! Oh, oh, oh. If I don't make friends now, I might never make friends. And without friends,
My grades would suffer, and I'd miss out on a college education. I absolutely love this one. So as you can see, the character's panicking about not getting a good job and having to work at like a fast food restaurant. Which is a thing, guys. Cartoon Corey used to work at Subway, and now I do YouTube. Trust me, finish school because you do not want to work at a fast food place. I know SpongeBob makes it fun flipping Krabby Patties, but yeah, anyways. When the character complains about this, he's pretty much in the exact Krusty Krab kitchen. I mean, look at this. Here's a side by side. And the dude working Cash is a creature who slightly resembles Squidward. Like, come on. This whole shot right here is 100% a reference to being a fry cook at the Krusty Krab. And I absolutely love it. This is a cool reference. It's fun. Now, Grapple Gang, that's gonna do it for today. But click this video right here if you want to see more SpongeBob cameos or parodies. There are a ton of other ones in this video from other cartoons where SpongeBob just pops up and it's hilarious. So click it. Do it. Click the video and I'll see you guys over there. Peace.